Hey guys, so we're about to go and head out and go grab another tractor. Lady got a hold of me, says she has a free one. When I asked her what it was, she said that she thinks it's a Sears and that she thinks it's an older one. So, you guys that are on my main mud mowers um, Facebook group, we'll see who's right and who gets the shout out later on in the video. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you was this is the MTD I picked up for 50 bucks earlier. Uh, basically, I kind of lost my hat on this one. Like I told you guys, I probably would. Um, MTDs tend to be expensive to end up fixing up. Uh, it cost me a $30 coil. It ended up costing me, well, I always do spark plugs and I always do air filters, so there's another $20. So that brings us to $50. Um, it ended up costing me another head gasket, so that brings us up to $60. And the deck is going to have to be welded, and um, the belt that's on the deck is absolute junk, so that's going to have to be replaced. So there's another $12 to $15 bucks that's going to end up costing me. So it's going to cost me about 75 in parts to get it back up and running correctly. Um, another 40 if you include the battery, and I bought it for 50. It has cosmetic <clears throat> damage on the front, so I'm not really sure um, what I'll be able to get out of it because you know people are prissy like that. And so we'll see. Later on, when I manage to sell it, maybe I'll add an annotation on this, or I'll bring it up in the next video. But, let's go see what we can get for a free tractor that might be a Sears. What does that say? 400? Well, the worst happens. It's a cast iron tractor. We drop it on the ground and it doesn't do any damage. Alright guys, so we finally managed to go pick up the uh, tractor. It's a really ancient lawn chief. It's rusted everywhere. The rear axle is locked in place because the chain has long since rusted into a totally solid piece. I know you guys really like cold starts, crank overs, and all that kind of stuff, so when I get it home, I really don't expect this one to run. But what we're going to do, we're going to clean it off with the power washer. I'll put some gas in. I'll put a 150 amp booster across it with a new battery in it. We'll see what it does. The guy says that it ran when it was parked, but that it was having other issues, which is why he didn't fix it. So we'll see what happens. Hey guys, I actually just got home and forgot the fact that I didn't do my subscriber shout out for the person who won. Actually, it's kind of funny. It's Steven Getchell who won. He had it perfectly on the mark with a 1985. Um, Steve is actually another irony in the fact he does the same exact kind of stuff that I do. He goes, he picks up tractors, brings them back. He doesn't quite go as in-depth as I do, but I hope in the future to see him doing such because he's a really smart guy. He also has a really cool Craftsman puller. It's got a six-speed Peerless in it, and he intends to go and do competitions. So why don't you go over, check him out, support him. Really cool guy. Have fun, man. Bye. Hey guys, I just wanted to say something about this because we were talking about it quite a bit on my Facebook group the other day. You know, be polite when you're out dealing with these people and you're talking with them. You know, they're giving you something for free or at a discount and always say thank you numerous times. You know, tell them how nice it is and that you can't wait to work on it, things like that. Because that's really how you should be. And if you do, a lot of times, they end up giving you freebies. Things that they don't feel like working on, things that they think aren't worth anything. The stuff that doesn't fit their thing. I mean, I went out there originally just to go and get this tractor sight unseen. After the gentleman and I started talking, he started saying stuff about a snowblower that he didn't like and everything else. Next thing I know, I end up with a free snowblower. So then we get talking some more, and he starts talking about cars. Apparently, 
one of his kids or something used to have an Oldsmobile and we got talking about my Monte Carlo and he got into his garage gave me two brand spanky new free tires they got perfect tread on them they still even have some of the nubs from when they were bought they were only run for a few thousand miles I mean that right there that's almost a hundred hundred and fifty dollars worth of brand spanking new tires totally for free you know be polite when you're talking with these people you know they're they're your bread and butter when you do this and they're what makes it so that you can be doing things like what I do so here we go let's get this thing unloaded uh, we'll put a booster pack on it like we said before and I'm gonna do this one outside because I'm really worried that where it hasn't been run in a while that the carburetor is going to decide to blow out and yeah i just don't want that in my garage all right guys so here it is lawn chief it's a 400 cc 12 horsepower industrial commercial has the original 36 inch cutting deck which actually as far as i can tell doesn't seem to have any holes it's got a halfway decent front tire there both rear tires actually don't seem to be rotted and both hold air. Transmission is right here. As you can see, it is a peerless of some sort. I'll have to look that up. Ancient battery, good for a core charge. And if we flip the seat down, we have our high-low choices here. And it actually does shift. If you listen, you should be able to hear it. And as you can see, it actually shifts through all the gears. I've managed to get the chain unlocked. So it's actually rolling now after soaking it with PB Blaster. Oh, one hint to give you guys with that. If you have one of these that has the rolling chain, I don't know if you can see this, soak it with PB Blaster and then heat it gently with a torch back and forth and then just keep rolling it while it's on the gear and eventually it'll break free. Now granted you should replace it, but if you need to get it going in a pinch, that's the way to do it. Or at least that's what works for me. And let's see what's underneath the hood, shall we? Now, luckily, I've allowed the Furby to fart on it twice, and it actually seems to have loosened it up. So luckily, Furby farts has made it work, and we're gonna test the starter and see where we can go from here after I do my usual method of topping off the uh, oil with automatic transmission fluid to get it so it's lubing back up. I right, got the battery charger across it, 20 amps, right directly to the starter. Let's see if she'll actually do something. Holy cow! Let's try it again. Alright, so obviously, by way of Furby, we know that the starter actually will kick it over. So I'm going to pull the whole hood assembly off soak the entire piston with PB Blaster and see whether we can get it to crank over with the spark plug out of it. Well guys, I got tinkering around here, found that the air filter is actually really good in this, but I started noticing little things coming down out from around, so we're going to see whether there are any things underneath this cover. Oh yeah. 
I don't know if you can see that, but I think we figured out that it's not going to fire anytime soon. So now that that's out of there, uh, you can clearly see the fact that the coil is long since chewed through. So we're going to have to see if we can find a coil for this. Because that's never going to do. Alright guys, so we got the 150 amp booster hooked up. We've got the fluid in. Spark plug is out. The uh, PB blaster is in it. We've cleaned up all the mouse turds and stuff. Let's see if she'll crank. I would say that cranked pretty good. I wonder if we'll get any spark out of this thing even though it's pretty well shot. Well, I don't think you guys can see it, but it actually made spark across that horrifying coil. So I think we're going to dump some starter fluid in it and put the spark plug in, brand spanking new champion plug, and we'll see what happens. Well guys, as you saw just recently, it was kicking over, but now when you go to turn it, it makes it that far and then won't make it any further. And there's definitely something knocking inside the engine. So I'm betting that the piston is topping out on something or something's broke inside. It still seems to have compression though if you rotate it. You can still hear it. So, I'm going to pull this off because, you know, what the heck, we're already that far. And we'll see what's in there and see whether it's turning over or not. I think we may have just discovered why it is this thing was free. Alright, so let's see if we can't figure out what's upset. So, we can see right now the intake valve is open, the exhaust is there. So we'll turn it this direction and see what happens. Oh, right there. So let's turn the other way and let's see whether the exhaust valve ever moves. Intake, piston up, exhaust. Piston up. Intake. Exhaust. And will not go forward. Oh, made it further. Okay, exhaust all the way down. Oh, right there. Intake up. Nope. So whatever it is is locking up somewhere in the valve assembly inside here.
Well, guys, as you saw, free tractor is what it is. Um, rear end came loose. It's actually a chain drive rear end with a peerless up top. So that's got me thinking that might happen to be useful for some other build. Uh, as far as the engine goes, obviously something inside of the engine is foobar. I haven't decided whether I care to tear it down. Um, anybody who's torn any of those down recently wants to comment down below. Give me some ideas as to what they think it is. Feel free. Um, most likely I'm going to scrap the engine. But I'll tell you what. If I end up with 25 comments down below that say fix it, fine. I'll tear into it and I'll see whether it's fixable. And if it looks like something interesting, I'll document it for you guys. Otherwise than that, I'm going to set the tractor aside until I end up with another um, probably 14 or 15 horsepower engine. Then I'll put it on because it's got a good cutting deck and it'll be worth reselling if I don't decide to do something else with it. But otherwise than that, have fun guys. Ah!